Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about that monster, Onion Boy, goddamn Onision. And you kind of think that with everything going on, you would just stop everything. So this report came out on the 12th of September 2019. This information was uh, leaked or sent out by Record Citizen and they mentioned a little bit that they weren't going to publish the full report but then the full report did get did go online uh, i will link that in the description for you to read it is quite lengthy so i've kind of taken points out from it um, from other people that i've listened to on this one as well and we're going to be talking about it Bernician's daughter fell out of a two-story house um, out the window and that's about i think uh 12 foot something like that anyway you know falling out of a, win a window about two stories and hitting concrete is absolutely horrible. It really is. It is something that no one wants to do and no one wants to experience. So apparently uh, the daughter crawled or banged on the um, garage door in a, and screamed out in a deep voice. And that's how Onision and Kai found out now. Now, 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 now when they said it was like a deep voice. I will say this, take all of this with a pinch of salt, um, but pretty much the report here says a lot of stuff. Now, apparently, now this is one thing I don't understand is he says in the report, James said that he was in the garage on his computer. He explained that he works from home. James said he heard what sounded like a deep voice and tapping on the exterior of the garage. Now, I don't know if you don't know this, but when a two-year-old screams, they scream and it just pierces the sound barrier. You know that they are crying, that they are in pain because you hear it. So I don't know if some guy notices quickly, ran over, knocked on the thing, went, hey, you know, but a two-year-old screaming? Nah, nah, mate, that's not how it works. That is, I think that is a lie. I think that you checked at some point or you then just looked outside. Kai was making dinner uh, and their five-year-old son was watching television and Kai had taken their daughter to their, uh, to their daughter's bedroom and left her in there and you kind of think, why would you do that? Because two-year-olds are notorious for getting into trouble and doing things that they don't understand. Everything is in this police report if you want to do it. One thing that just really irritates me is that when the daughter hit the floor and was injured, that Onion Boy just took the, a camera, uh, or his phone camera, and recorded that she fell out the window or literally went like that, or you know, just filmed this whole thing for a, a brief amount of time. Um, his response was that he wanted to show people this so that it, you know, he wasn't to blame. But from what I've heard from other people is that his house has tons of cameras. There's a camera opposite the house so that they can see. So you would see that they were, you know, that they would fall. So you didn't need to kind of film it. And it kind of reminds me back to when he recorded, I don't know if it was Kai at the time um, or if it was someone else, but his partner having a seizure and mocking that person this i think is going to be something that when the daughter grows up you know he's going to be like well you, you know you shouldn't have done this and then show her the footage and go you were this sort of child um i don't know if he's doing it to get off like people's back so he's like oh yeah but no this definitely happened like you know this this was the main thing and this angers me it just makes me think that you are a fucking scummy person that you record your daughter in pain rather than dropping everything going to the aid and making sure that your child is fine now apparently just to kind of add to it uh he grabbed kai's phone um or asked for kai's phone and then rang 911 but filmed himself doing it like, why would you do that? You don't need to record anything because you just make that call. They, the police would have kept those records and then you didn't need to do it. Like, oh, I've got to show the world that I recorded stuff. Oh, I had to do this because no one will believe me. For fuck's sake, your daughter's in pain and yet you have to record. Why don't you just grab the security footage from all over your house and across the street and do it that way? 
Oh, so fucking stupid that you would rather film than look after your daughter. Now this part of the report saying that she has multiple skull fractures, um, that she has subjournal uh, heritoma, and then the fact that she didn't need surgery straight, straight away or wasn't life threatening. It makes me think what the fuck has been happening in your house? How can a small child have multiple skull fractures? This makes me think that child uh, services need to really get in on this again and actually investigate this properly. Uh, here it says, he explained that a skull fracture on the right side of her head was uh, depressed and pushing into her, her, her brain. The doctor said that the injuries were consistent with a fall from a second story window. There is so much into this that I really want to dive deep into you know why was the window like not locked properly you know i know you can get child locked but if you don't have um like if you don't want to get child locked you would want to lock that window down so nothing could get out uh you wouldn't open it and yet again why is like the bed next to the window if the child is going to climb um there is so much stuff um in this completely and it just makes me think why um and do you know what's even worse like the one thing that just disgusts me is around that time he had certain tweets that went out and i'm sorry but it's disgusting uh and i apologize i have to re read it to you so he tweets i want to ride you unprotected i want to see your eyes quiver as you realize i just made you a mummy Heart. I want to ride you unprotected. I want to see your eyes as you realize you became a mom. So why did you post the same thing? I know you don't talk to me expecting I'll listen. We both know I never do. The real reason you open your mouth toward me so often is in hopes that at least once you'll catch my cum. So keep pretending you mean anything you say. I'm almost there, my little slut. It, it, it gets worse. Don't be upset with anyone who trash talks me. I'd be pissed too if I wasn't allowed to frick me. Like literally, uh, please swish a cube of ice around your mouth before you put it on me again. Your spicy tongue is making me throb. Thanks babe, heart emoji. <laughs> there are 10 slots left for Patreon until they're gone. Oof. I'm so glad your Patreon's gone. Uh, you've got a lot of spicy things to say about me with that mouth of yours. I wish you dropped to your knees and show me what your t what your tongue can really do. Oh, just, no, it's, all of it's horrible. And then one where he tweets out on the 16th of September, so a few days after. Stand in front of the window over there. The world should see how pathetic and helpless you are. I'm going to humiliate you and right before you lose consciousness, I'm going to destroy you. Now, oh, I'm gonna add this in, it's, it's quite interesting. Um, there was a tweet that was sent out and it says, evidence suggests negligence led to child falling from the window. Anision recorded his daughter in pain while waiting on the ambulance. He exhibited strange behavior at the hospital, bizarre sexual tweets, a welfare check was conducted, semi-automatic rifle discovered in home. You lied to the police, uh, Onion Boy. You turn around and said to that police officer that there were no weapons in the house. Yet, hmm, there was a semi-automatic rifle discovered in your home. Hmm, you're just a fucking piece of work, aren't you? Oh, the, the day you get arrested is when the internet is going to go ballistic with happiness because of one of the most problematic people on this platform has gone to jail. Frick's sake. That's your own conclusion, but this just, you, you wouldn't post this after a traumatic event that's happened to one of your family members. You wouldn't want to do this. And to be fair, it feels like, I think maybe um, that when he shows the video back to his daughter at some point and say, you are stupid because you fell out a window and try to humiliate his daughter. Allegedly, that's what could happen, but really instead of being there with your daughter making sure that your daughter is fine you're tweeting sexual stuff out like this you're being a freaking dick you're just horrible 
your daughter has a brain bleed, the fact that needs uh, her father, and yet you're just there sending tweets out on how you want to frick everybody, how you want to destroy them, and how you want to make them a mummy. You are a vile piece of shit, Onision, or Greg, or James, whatever you want to go by. You are fucking vile. And the fact is that you record your, your daughter's pain just either to prove to the police that nothing happened when you've got cameras all over. And what's interesting, as I, I don't know if I said it because I'm so angry, is the fact that when the person went around to your house uh, to actually take photos of stuff, you weren't even there, but yet you work at home. So, you know, I can understand that if you were at the hospital with your daughter, at least Kai or you could have then said, okay, I'll come back and we can go through photos and stuff. Yet you turn around and say that Kai wants to know if she left the stove on. And then obviously, can, can you let the dogs back in? I think that you're, you're trying to mock the police. Be like, oh, hey, babe, maybe if we tell that police officer to check the stove, then maybe like we'd be okay. I don't know why you're like this. I don't know if you've had a very bad upbringing, but I swear to God, if your parents knew anything about this, I hope that they swoop in. If they're not as messed up as you, swoop in and then take the kids for a while to actually make sure that you're that they're okay. You're vile. You're, you're fucking vile, Greg, or James, whatever you want to go by. Stop tweeting out these things as well that you want to frick people and stuff because they're not edgy they are fucking cringy and yet you go through your old tweets and delete them like you've got something to hide stop doing this i, I can understand if you were like 16 but you're over in your 30s oh i'm just angry that all of this is going on and the fact is that YouTube is not doing anything. And I originally thought that maybe YouTube are doing things to kind of say like, you know, we're keeping these on, on file at least, but I don't think that's the case now. I just generally think YouTube can't be asked about anything. They want their site to start slowly burning down. They don't want advertisers. So maybe they can turn around and go, well, we're gonna take YouTube offline because it's not profitable anymore. You know, buy everybody. YouTube, you need to do something about this. You need to get this predator off the website. You need to get it. When Chris Hansen is literally, literally doing investigation into him, you kind of think that you might need to step in, but you don't want to do anything, do you? You literally don't want to do anything about this. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna leave it there. If you've liked this sort of video and you wanna see more, then hit the subscribe button, hit the uh, like button, as well as the cheeky notification bell to be notified when more videos drop. And until the next one, I'll see you in the next video.